Good morning, kids. It's the Devious Monkey here. I am pretty much in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Obviously, I'm leaving my hotel now. It was a rough night. I slept like shit. I have a horrible headache, which I had all night while sleeping. Pillows were awful. And this morning, the person across the hall decided that it was a great idea to have a speakerphone conversation out in the hallway. So I was up bright and early, but not bushy-tailed. Not to mention, it's pouring down rain right now. So, boo. Okay. I'm about to go to my first meeting, then another meeting at 10, and I'm going to go to breakfast, and I'm done for the day. Today, I'm using the one-inch Leica module on this RS to see how it does. Yesterday, I eh, wasn't really thrilled with the colors once I looked at the editing. Pretty dull. I do have it on standard, and it was defaulted to vivid, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. And again, it is a dark, dreary day out. Uh. that all right let's go check out okay so both meetings are done very good meetings and i just ate a delicious breakfast of crab cake benedict and crispy well done bacon lots of coffee so i'm sure i'll be stopping hopefully not in the middle of nowhere in the rain to get soaked again because it's raining again so i've got a long rainy shitty drive home it's going to take me almost five hours if I don't stop. So I'll be driving all day again, which means another boring, shitty video, unless something exciting happens along the way, which I doubt. So today, again, I have the Leica one inch module on this Insta 361R. I want to see what it looks like. I went through and kind of played with the settings last night. The colors were really dull, I thought and a little bit blown out. So I'm gonna have to play around and figure out like how I should be doing this if I need to make things more auto or not auto or whatever. I'm gonna play around and see what happens. But for the most part, it's just gonna be me blathering on in the, in the Forerunner again. I'll try to do something a little bit more exciting. I don't know what more I can do, but we'll see. So, all right, let's hit the road so I can get the hell home. Thank Zeus, my headache went away. I did take a couple of ibuprofen before my last meeting because it was just throbbing and I couldn't take it. And I didn't want to drive the rest of this shitty day with this headache. And it probably has a lot to do with the weather. I noticed yesterday that, that although you can kind of see me and I still look a little blown out, I'm gonna have to figure that out, but you can't really see what's outside of the windows. So it's, I mean, it's an action cam. So one of the things that I wanted to see with this one inch module, first off, elephant in the room, this new case option so that you don't have to freaking unscrew the freaking lens cover and all that bullshit and, and then pull it out and then put the freaking thing back on. Wonderful. Yet another innovation that they addressed that makes this thing that much better than the 1R. So the audio jack, the little thingy that you stick in there, the ability to slide this in and out without having to remove the stupid lens cover on the one inch module. Primo, man. Still think that they should have included the, the like cold shoe mount on the top instead of making you pay another 10 bucks for it. But okay, it's not like I don't piss money away on other dumb shit. I can live with it. One of the things that is kind of like meh is that the one inch module, that stupid big 
thing that you got to screw on there, the lens cover, is that it blocks the screen. So, like, as I'm sitting here at this angle, I cannot see this side of the screen. So I couldn't see if the audio, like the audio meter, if it was on or not. The audio sounds fine with this uh, Rode Wireless Go 1. So it'll be fine with the Rode Wireless Go 2. But I haven't tested this thing with its internal microphone. And I thought that maybe after this little bit here where I'm explaining everything, I know I'm not supposed to explain, I'm supposed to show, but I can only show so much whilst I'm driving, especially in the rain. And being in the rain, I think what I was talking about was the fact that I know that I'm still blown out. This, the colors are almost a little bit too dull. So I may look at, at what they've done you know, with the color instead of going with standard, going with vivid, but taking the sharpness all the way down. And I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it. I'm not putting it in log and I'm not color grading. So forget that suggestion. It doesn't look any different with the one inch module than it did with the 4K boost module as far as I'm blown out and you can't see clearly what's outside the window. Since it's not even pissing rain, it's that misty, annoying shit that covers everything and makes it impossible to see. That's what it's doing right now. There's a shit ton of traffic, so I'm driving pretty slow, a lot, hell of a lot slower than I would be if there wasn't all this traffic because it's raining. And it just looks like I'm gonna be in the rain for the entire drive, which I still have three hours to go. That sucks, but I can't do anything about that. So I'm gonna play around with this thing after I'm done blathering on here. I'm going to unplug the audio adapter and go with the internal mics to see how this sounds in the Forerunner, because I know that it's still a little bit noisy when I'm using the Rode Wireless Go or the Rode Wireless Go 2 on any camera. It's definitely noisy, a lot noisier when I'm using the Sennheiser, so like a shotgun type mic, because now it's not just picking me up, it's picking up all that noise even more instead of just having this right below my voice box. But I wanna see what it, what it does having this sitting on this contraption on the dashboard because the 1R definitely picked up all kinds of handling noise, including even me wearing this, which didn't make any sense to me. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I'll shut up and I'll unplug this stupid thing and do it now. Okay, now you're hearing me on the Insta360 One RS internal microphones. And apparently there's three of them all the way around which means there's three opportunities for this thing to pick up all the noise in the vehicle. Because I have so much shit mounted in here, there would be more noise coming from this vehicle than the average person's vehicle. I have a feeling that this is gonna pick all that up. Now, because it's raining, the windshield wipers are going, it's raining, so you might hear that, all the noise, the wind noise, me blathering on and sometimes the AC going the microphones pick all that up so what do you think what does this sound like is it completely like oh I can't fucking listen to that and I should never ever use the internal mics when I'm doing this inside the vehicle what did you think it sounded like when I was doing it with the with the road wireless go because this is the worst as it's gonna get it gonna get with the windshield wipers going the rain the, the old tires me blathering and me looking like I need serious suntan because I look really blown out and ghosty, which I don't get. But okay, again, I got to play with the settings. And again, it doesn't look any different now with the one inch module than it did with the 4K Boost. All right, I think that's it for now. I am not sleepy, but I have been on the phone for like the last two hours talking with my co workers. So I I need to give my voice a rest because it's starting to hurt. There's nowhere for me to stop to even get a copy, which I'm desperately going to need. I don't know if there's a Starbucks coming up anytime soon where I don't have to go miles off the highway to get there. And the last time I did this, that's when I ended up going to some Dunkin' Donut and it was awful. So I know I'm not gonna do that again. Although I have convinced myself that maybe a donut would be kind of nice that's just what I need. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to put the module, the, the audio adapter back in and all that kind of stuff and we'll just go on with more boring footage of me driving. 
Okay, kids, back in Virginia Beach. So that's it. It was another interesting and or boring, maniacal, rainy trip up to my northernmost territory. But it's done, and I'm happy about that. And that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, as always. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.